Hi everyone, I'm going to play a quick game of card links today. I'm going to play against the AI on hard, which is quite difficult for me. I'm not the best strategy games player, so sometimes I can beat it, sometimes I cannot. Let's find out what happens today. I start in a combat turn, so I want to place a couple of scouts to explore the map. And actually I've been quite lucky because, you know, it's quite, always, it's quite essential to find wood uh, and food early on uh, and I've already found them so it's looking good already now this guy I'm going to send him over here instead and I want to end my turn as quickly as possible because while I'm playing my combat turn the AI is playing a building turn which is when they can collect resources I don't want to collect I don't want to let them collect too many resources, so um, I have to be quick. Now with this woodcutter, I'm going to get wood off these trees. And I'm going to need lots of wood in the early game. The next thing I want to do is build a farm, but as you can see, I need 50 wood to do that. Oh, I can do that now. There we go. So food and wood sorted for now anyway. There's a wolf here, uh, so we have to be careful because if it decides to attack my scout, I think my scout is dead. So just in case, I'm going to move this way. Although I also want to be close to this stone deposit because the next thing I need is probably stone. But let's see what's in this chest. Uh, 16 gold, 16 iron. Uh, not particularly useful at this stage, but you know, it'll be useful later. Let's just end the turn for now. See, I should really place this stone quarry, but I need a unit next to the stone deposit to be able to do that. So I cannot do that. Uh, I think while I wait, I'm going to click on these things here. This is uh, called Arcana. Uh, it's a resource that you use to build uh, magic users, such as druids, uh, necromancers, uh, witches later on. So I do not have a building here to process it, uh, but I can still click on it as it drops, which is better than nothing. Okay, now, um, I've got a decent amount of food, so I should be able to build another unit. I think I'm going to go with this druid here and go uncover more of the map. Ooh, that's dangerous. I also want to upgrade my druid, but I cannot afford it. So what I really want to do, I want to upgrade twice because I want this, but I want this uh, especially because this will let me tame wild animals. Uh, but let's go get this chest. Okay, that's potentially useful. <clears throat> I found an enemy unit already. Uh, Pikeman has got a very limited movement range, so this is not posing any threat to me at the moment, but I want to keep an eye on it. It's interesting that they already got so close to my castle. Um, now I want to move something here to... Well, I can upgrade the druid now once i want to move it here so i can build a stone quarry i can do that now in my combat turn so then in my building turn i can place the quarry there uh, this upgrade is what i really want still unavailable let's go a bit this way couple of deposits, iron and gold, they will be useful soon. For now, I'm going to place my quarry. So we've sorted out our stone production temporarily. Um, and I can almost upgrade this druid. You see food is going up because this farm is collecting food. Ooh, what happened? Damn it, they've killed my scout. Okay, they will pay for it. Revenge is coming eventually, but for now, um, I'm kind of
kind of tempted to build a stone mason actually let's do it uh, and to upgrade my druid so the stone mason is going to increase the stone production from this quarry um, now in my combat turn this druid is going to be able to tame animals and there we go let's move a little closer and let's tame this lion so now this is mine and it's a pretty powerful unit 13 life 8, eight attack so with this i feel confident going um, this way to explore a little further But now these are starting to worry me because the enemy, obviously they cannot see what I've got up here, but they're slowly getting closer and closer. So I think I might actually build a pikeman here, just in case. So if they do get closer, oh damn it, the wolf. I hadn't thought about it. Now the wolf is going to want to attack my pikeman. I'll have to do, I'll have to do something about it. See, the next thing I want to build here is this apothecary which um, I cannot afford, um, but that would allow me to collect these um, arcana things that are useful for building magic users, such as druids and later on uh, necromancers and witches and all that sort of stuff. Um, so what happened there? I think he's, he's up to something. My AI opponent, who has built a gold mine. That that cannot be good. And the wood has decided to attack my pikeman. Now the wood, the the wolf, sorry, the, the wolf, I cannot, I cannot really kill it. A better strategy would be to tame it. So I'll start moving closer uh, and I'll try to get it on my next turn. Now, if I could reach these uh, scouts, I would be able to kill them with my lion. But they are conveniently out of reach. However, what I can do, I can create a witch. And... Mm, no, it's not, it's not powerful enough. You see the scout, they've upgraded their scout, so he's got seven life. The witch's attack is only six. So I cannot do anything just yet, but on the next turn, I think I'm going to attack. I think this pikeman's dead, to be honest, unless I manage to upgrade, but it's not looking likely. It's not looking very good overall. I mean, I've still got no iron, still got no gold. And it looks like my opponent is way ahead of me. I mean, there's things I can do. I can, like, upgrade my farm. This is a, a life upgrade, but this is a production upgrade. So now it's going to produce more food. Pikeman's dead. Damn it. On the plus side, the wolf is now mine. Okay, now let's move a little closer with this lion. Mm -hmm. Let's also place an archer here. And can I... I can do the poison arrow upgrade. So I'm going to hit this guy with a poison arrow. Uh, so I think he's going to lose one life per turn for the next three turns. So essentially... He will eventually die. I need to sort out production of iron, uh, arcana and gold because I'm terribly behind on those. Um, so first of all I need to move a unit close to my iron mine otherwise I won't be able to build it. Secondly I need to have an iron mine card in my hand. Oh damn it. He's got a necromancer and he's killed my archer. But I think he's in trouble now because I'm going to kill said necromancer on my next turn. 
also depends on what these uh, sheep decide to do because they are in the way I cannot move my lion next to the necromancer because these are blocking my way very annoyingly anyway we'll see what happens now I'm tempted to reshuffle now yeah I got an iron mine yeah okay that's what I wanted very good so it's attack time now I think I can probably go here and kill that druid it's getting on my nerves really uh, now I can go here and can I do this power up no but I can attack the necromancer now the lion cannot move close enough to the necromancer damn it but the witch can kill it okay that's looking a little better now this wolf is in danger i think i'm going to place another pikeman here just in case and i also want to move a unit next to the iron deposit now why can i not build the iron mine it's because i need 75 wood uh, this witch is up to something uh, i will soon have 75 wood i'm getting ready there iron production sorted uh, the other thing i need is this apothecary here oh oh that damn archer So I think I'm going to go for another reshuffle and see if I get lucky. Yes, yes. But I'll, I'll need... Oh, I can't place it. I can't place it now. There we go. Arcana production sorted. Like I said, this is useful for building uh, some types of units. Necromancers, witches and stuff. Now let's see who's... Who's threatening us? This guy needs to die. Yeah, there we go. Another building of theirs. I think these... I mean... I can start attacking the pikemen, but the most likely outcome there is that they'll kill my wolf. So I'm going to move this one closer instead and end the third for now. So let's see what happens now. What are they going to do? Move closer with their witch. Oh, I think, I think he's going to go for my ranger. Oh, he spawned another necromancer quite aggressive really oh no it's killed my wolf well I, I knew it was gonna die poor little wolf a gold mine would be good to build who would have killed my druid as well it's not looking good at all luckily I've got this lion this is proven incredibly useful uh, did I speak too soon it's trying to kill it but I'll tell you what it's still alive so now you're going to die instead I heard a strange sound of someone dying but uh, did, I'm not sure that, who, who that was so this has got six attack power it's not going to be enough to defeat the witch uh, but if i get this now this gives me a much better chance of getting a critical hit so there you go critical and it's dead also 
that guy's dead as well. Okay, that's what you get for being so aggressive. Um, but I still got no gold. I might want to create an archer here and move him closer, well, her closer to this gold deposit. So on my building turn, hopefully, yeah, I can build a gold mine now. Now I've got a decent amount of wood, so I can start thinking about upgrading stuff. I think I want to upgrade this gold mine. I'll need stone to upgrade the production. Um, oh, they've killed my lion. Uh, he's, he's served his purpose really, but um, I think it's looking pretty bad for me now. He's got, oh no, they've killed pretty much all of my units. I've, I've got only two units left. No, three. I'd forgotten about this scout and now they're starting to attack my buildings. But, you know, I've got wood, I can upgrade my building. In fact, I want to upgrade the production of my gold mine. So that's going to give me enough gold to build some more powerful units. Now they're kind of focused on destroying this. Um, it's not too much of a problem to be honest. I mean I've got some arcana. I'm not planning on using so much so I think I need a clever strategy here because in, in reality I still don't know where their castle is. I'm thinking it's going to be somewhere down here, so I, I kind of want to go sneakily towards that direction and see if I can attack instead of, you know, spend my time defending myself. Oh, I can make a mage. Let's make a mage. Here you go, I want to kill that druid. Wait a source, man. There. So I want to make my way down here and see if I can get closer to their castle. Because I think, you know, considering how many units they've got here, I think they're not going to have many units defending because they're being very aggressive now. And I want to take advantage of that. <coughs> so ideally, now that I've got gold production sorted, I should be able to create more powerful units. And if I get close enough to their castle, I can start attacking and they may be in trouble. So I've pretty much given up on this one. I think they're going to destroy it. I could... In fact... Ah, damn it. They've just destroyed it. I didn't make it in time. I was going to upgrade it to give it more life. Um, but I'm going to do that with the woodcutter because now they're going to try and destroy this. Because in reality, you see, they cannot really get to my castle because there are so many buildings here that are blocking the way. So they want to destroy these ones. If I upgrade them, it's going to take them longer to destroy them. And I'm hoping that I can use this time to move my army here close to their castle. This is of course assuming that their castle is indeed down here, which at the moment we do not know. Um, let's, let's make a paladin actually. You know the paladin is really cool if you have arcana, because you can do these cool things like collective blessing, but I do not have any them arcana because they've destroyed my uh, apothecary okay so that's not gonna work unless I find another source of arcana somewhere here mm, nothing interesting to build really I'll do a reshuffle, may get better cards. 
see the blacksmith is a useful building and I can not afford it at the moment but I might be able to do that soon because that will increase my iron production uh oh okay now they've cleared the path to the castle and they've also destroyed my only source of wood so if I can destroy their castle quickly, then that's good. Otherwise, it, I, I suspect it's going to be game over and a terrible defeat, really. Um, yeah, they're moving closer and closer. Wow, well, they're attacking my stone quarry as well. So I think, I think their strategy is to just, you know, completely destroy my resource production. So at that point, I'll be completely helpless. But let's see if my strategy does work, work out. There it is. I knew it was going to be here. Haha, I can even attack it now. Um, actually, uh, if they destroy my mine, I will not be able to upgrade my castle. So it's kind of essential that they don't destroy my mine. <laughs> Let's move everyone closer here. Okay, if you hear a cat in the background, it's not part of the game, it's, it's a real life cat who's uh, being really annoying. He wants me to open the door for him, but quite busy. Sorry, cat. So, well, I, ca I can, I forgot I can manually click on these as they drop, which um, is not ideal, but it's better than nothing because remember, I want to get to 40 arcana. If I get to 40, then I can upgrade my Paladin, and that's going to make a massive difference. Okay, they've destroyed my stone quarry, and I'm unable to upgrade my castle, so I think, sadly, I think they've won this game. But I'm not giving up yet, I'm not giving up yet. I mean, there's another, there's another stone deposit here, I could go for it. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Okay, that's giving me some hope. As you can see, they have no one here. They went all in. They're even attacking my castle with a sheep. Which obviously is not going to make much of a difference. It's got a one point attack per turn. But everything adds up. I suppose that's what they're thinking. So, I'll move the mage there so I can sort out my stone quarry on my next turn now I've got I've got this guy here so attack the castle but also build a pikeman pikeman's got a fairly strong attack and not the castle I mean the pikeman can I afford this yes I can now, a fully upgraded pikeman has got a much better chance of landing a critical hit. You see, there was a critical hit. It took 24 points off their castle. So, there's still hope. Let's move everyone. Let's move everyone closer. Uh, which way? Now I've got no way of making wood unless I come up with something more creative. Oh, I said I would build a stone quarry. That's what I'm going to do now. There. Yes, they've destroyed my stone mason, but I think they're kind of missing the point. Because really, I'm sure you can destroy my castle, but will you destroy it before I destroy yours? Well, I think you know what you're doing, but you know, it's going to be pretty tight because I think within like a couple of turns, 
I can probably destroy yours. So let's see, I've got 39 life points here. Okay, someone's killed my archer there. Not a big deal. What I'm interested in is 32 life points. And of course he's going to move closer, but he's only got like 15. Ooh, no. That's a big deal, actually. Only eight life points left. It's going to be pretty tight. Ooh, that's the end of the turn, luckily. So now, if I land a critical hit... Yes! I've won the game, just. Now, it's going to be interesting to see this graph, yeah? So they've had more units than me for most of the game, especially in the early game, you know, I, my, it was a disaster on my side. Uh, and building wise, they were always ahead. They had way more upgrades than me. And for all the resources, I mean, this is less easy to read, but uh, it's obvious that they had way more iron than me and uh, way more arcana in the late game. Nevertheless, I won in 29 turns. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.